Mickey. Hello everyone. I'm just waiting on a few more people joining before I start. Hi, hi Eileen. <laughs> hey Ryan's, hi Dad. <laughs> oh, hi Papa. <laughs> I'll wake up in my do we sip in my tea while I'm waiting on everyone coming on? <laughs> Hi Andy. Hi Liam. <laughs> I mean it's got to be done, Nikki. You need to have that bottle of Prosecco. <laughs> Has to be done. I've got mine ready and waiting. <laughs> Okay, I think enough of us are here. Hi, David. Oh, hi. Hi, Mum. <laughs> Hello. Oh, thank you. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. Thank you so much for joining me. And happy 1st of May. Happy May Day. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, Eileen. <laughs> okay, so poor John here. I'm supposed to be flying out to Prague today for my soon-to-be brother-in-law's um, stag do. <laughs> Instead, I roped him in to help me with a few things today. Um, but to start, it was actually our nephew's birthday this week. Um, unfortunately, we, obviously, we didn't get to spend the day with him. Um, so we thought we'd do a little happy birthday for him now. So John's going to come and join me. <laughs> Balloons at the ready. <laughs> Oh, hi David. So Ryan, this is for you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Obviously, I said that I would put on a little quiz for you today. So John is going to make sure that that all goes to plan and he is going to post the questions in the comments as well, just in case I'm talking too fast or you missed the question or whatever. Um, so he's going to go and do that. So while he's getting ready to do that, I am going to um, get started. Um, so here we go. So the first song that I'm going to sing for you is some enchanted evening. So basically how it's going to work is I'm going to ask three questions and about the song, about the specific song that, song that I'm going to sing and then as I'm singing the song I want you to answer the questions and I will give you the answers after each song. So I hope you've got your pens and your paper at the ready and we'll get started. So some enchanted evening. Oh, what, what's the prize? There's not actually a prize. Um, but maybe I can come up with something, or, you know, if somebody wants to suggest a prize, maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, so here we go. So, Some Enchanted Evening. What is the name of the musical that that song is from? Who wrote the musical? The plot centres around an American nurse stationed at an island during the war. But which war was it? So just in case you've missed those questions, John is going to post them in the comments for you as well. So I hope you enjoy this. This is called Some Enchanted Evening.
Oh, thank you so much, thank you. So did you get the answers? I think I see John's message here saying, remember not to give your answers away. So if anyone's been posting them in the um, comments, you're probably giving them away for everyone else. <laughs> um, so if you've got a notepad and pen, jot them down. If you've only just joined us, John is posting the questions in the link. Um, although I am going to give you the answers now for the first round. So, the first one, question number one, the answer is the song is from the musical South Pacific. Question number two, who wrote the musical? That was Rodgers and Hammerstein. If you got both of those, then you give yourself half a point for each one, for Rodgers for half a point and Hammerstein for half a point. And answer number three was World War II. So well done to anyone that got that. Um, to raise coins in a fountain? I'm not sure what you're trying to say there, Papa. Well, hi, Julie. <laughs> but thank you so much for joining me. How has your week gone? Mine's has been um, quite busy, actually. I've had a really busy week. Um, I've done a few live concerts for people. Um, I've actually, I've got a call for like a kind of radio station in Canada tomorrow, so that's really exciting. Um, so yeah, so I hope you're all keeping safe and well and finding some kind of way to keep yourselves busy. As I say, I thought I'd just do something a little bit different tonight by doing the movies and musicals quiz, um, just to mix it up, because you know, why not? <laughs> so, well done to anyone that got those questions right. On to the next one. This one is Can You Feel The Love Tonight? So the first question is what is the name of the musical or film that the song is from? Question number two, who composed the song and who composed the lyrics? Question number three, in which year did Disney release the animated film? There we go. So this is Can You Feel The Love Tonight? We have a 
thank you so much everyone thank you thank you so please um, leave me a little comment to let me know that you're here i can see people are watching but um it doesn't tell me who's here so if you could leave a comment let me know you're here that would be great so the answers to those questions so the first question um the name of the film and musical was the lion king of course the song was composed by Elton John, so give yourself one point if you got Elton John. And the lyrics were composed by Tim Rice, so give yourself another point if you got Tim Rice. And the answer to the third question, which year did the animated film come out? And that was 1994, so well done if you got those correct. Oh, it's so lovely to do this again, because I know I didn't do one um, the past couple of weeks. Um, I needed to give myself a little break to be honest um, but it's so lovely to come back and, and do some more while I'm fresh again <laughs> um, oh thank you Grace oh hi thank you Andrew <laughs> oh lovely thank you so I just wanted to um, make you aware that I will be putting a donation button onto my page again for spina bifida hydrocephalus as ambassador i just like to try and help them in any way that i can and try and raise awareness for them as much as possible especially just now with everything that's going on um, they're actually um, having a lot of people raise some money through the, the 2.6 challenge uh, which you might have heard of there's quite a lot of charities that are doing it um, but spina bifida they are doing it as well <laughs> i've just realized this balloons behind me annoyed me so i'm just gonna get that <laughs> um, oh oh a shame David <laughs> um, yeah so yeah they're doing the 2.6 challenge and there was actually this um, little boy who is only two and a half years old who is taking part in the 2.6 challenge <laughs> such an inspiration what an absolute star he is um, despite being little um, Hudson um, set off to do a 2.6 um, kilometre walk obviously with the help of his mummy um, his mum herself has spina bifida and hydrocephalus so what a star I mean really two and a half years old it's absolutely amazing he's raised 230 pounds the last time I checked so if anyone else wants to get involved with the 2.6 challenge they can all the information is on the spina bifida website which I will post after this as well as well as a little link to donate if you want to donate any money to them that would be great so on to the next set of um, questions so this next song is called i will always love you so first question what is the name of the musical or film question two who wrote the song question three how long did it spend at number one in the charts with Whitney Houston's version? Here we go. I will always love you. Si rest si non come tu.
<laughs> the more the better. <laughs> this comment here it's so funny um so Stuart Galloway has said the answers to those three questions are a John's love b John c obviously not longer than my love for you says John oh dear me oh thank you so much for joining me I hope you're enjoying this <laughs> um oh hi John oh thank you so much Leanne and hi Jim <laughs> So the answers to the questions. So the first question, the answer is the body part. Question number two, who wrote the song? That would be the one and only Dolly Parton. Question number three, the song um, with Whitney Houston's version lasted 14 weeks in the charts at number one. Fabulous. Oh, thank you, Grace. Thank you, David. Thanks, Andy. Oh, it really is so lovely to do this. It really is. I hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> so, next song. Let me see. So, next set of questions. So, the song is somewhere. To be fair, Stuart, your answers are better. They were so much funnier. Oh, hi, Robert. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry getting distracted by the comments again. <laughs> um, yeah, so the song is Somewhere. And the first question is, which musical is this song from? Question number two. The story features a rivalry between, I can't say that word, ri rivalry? A rival? You know what I mean. Um, between two gangs. What are the two gangs' names? Question number three. <laughs> Can I have some easy questions, please? No, you're just getting the ones you've got. <laughs> um, question number three is, in which decade was the story set? So here we are. Somewhere, oh, it's disappeared from my screen. Just give me a second. Oh, technology. Right, here we go, somewhere. The song is somewhere. <laughs>
coming through like please keep them coming through I love it but um, it's really hard not to get distracted while I'm singing and I find myself mid words looking at the the comments <laughs> it's really bizarre um, yeah so the answers to those questions so the first question the song is from the musical West Side Story the two rival gangs names are Jets so give yourself one point if you got Jets and the second gang's name was the shark. So give yourself another point if you got two of those. Question, uh, question number three. The musical West Side Story was set in the 1950s. So well done if you got those right. If you are just joining us, don't worry. John has posted the questions and you won't have heard the answers. <laughs> so um, you can look back at those if you want to join in with the quiz. I will post um, everything later on as well in case you do um, come to this quiz a bit later. So yeah, it's honestly, it's so lovely to be here. I hope you're enjoying it. I love how um, the hunters and the Jesses have taken over the comments here. It's so funny. <laughs> Hi Margaret, hi Linda, hi Derek. <laughs> oh, that's okay if you're not very good at them. It's the, it's the taking part, it's the fun. Oh, thank you. It's actually, it's my kitchen. But yeah, there is, there's great acoustics in here. Yeah. Um, oh, perfect. <laughs> so, right, next song. Here we are. Right, let me close that down. Right. So, the next song I have for you is I Dreamed a Dream. Um, so, funny story. <laughs> Just come into my head there. But, um, oh, Gran got the theme right. Oh, perfect. Um, it's really bizarre doing a concert in your kitchen because I'm basically getting properly dressed up <laughs> to basically hang out in my kitchen. But it's wonderful because I'm sharing it with all you lovely people. So it's worth every minute of getting dressed up. Um, but it is really strange because literally like five minutes before I came on to this live video, I was drying dishes. <laughs> so glamorous. <laughs> anyway. My husband's probably in there thinking, just hurry up and go on with the song. <laughs> so um, here we go. So yes, I dreamed a dream. 
So the first question is, which musical is the song from? Question number two, what does the name of the character who sings the song and who played that character in the recent film that came out? Who played the lead character in the 25th anniversary production, um, sorry, the lead character of Jean Valjean in the 25th anniversary production at the Queen's Theatre in London in 2014? I'll give you a little clue for this one. So he has recently been on tour and has released a, an album, I think maybe two albums now, with Michael Ball. So that's your little clue. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, in this song as well, I just want to, despite everything that's going on, make plans, make dreams. That's what this song is all about. So, I dream to dream. I dream to dream in time gone by. musical was this from and of course it was Les Miserables. Answers to question number two. So the character that sang that particular song was Fontaine 
and she was played by Anne Hathaway in the recent film. And the answer to question three was Alfie Beau. He played Jean Valjean in the 25th anniversary. And I love Alfie Beau. He's one of my favourite singers. Now, if anybody knows him and wants to put me in touch, then that would be amazing. I'd love a duet. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Oh, hi, John. Oh, so lovely to see you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so on to the next song then. So the next song is Never Enough. So the first question, which film is this song from? Question number two. In 2018, the film won a Golden Globe, but what was the award for? In question number three, what was the name of the lead character and which actor played him? So there we go. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, so this is one that my gran always requests. Um, she loves this song. So gran, this is for you. <laughs> Showman. 
In 2018, it won a Golden Globe for Best Original Song for the song This Is Me. The answer to question number three, the name of the lead character was P.T. Barnum and he was played by Hugh Jackman. Another male voice that I absolutely love. I grew up listening to Hugh Jackman. I remember seeing him for the first time in Oklahoma. I absolutely love that um, musical as well. I started off my kind of background as musicals. When I was younger, I was part of a youth theatre. Um, we did Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Um, we did Little Shop of Horrors and things like that. So that was really fun. All of that was before I joined um, Ayrshire Voices where I discovered my love for classical music. <laughs> Oh, thank you, my <laughs> kitchen presence, I love it. <laughs> Thanks, David. <laughs> so this next song I have for you <clears throat> is a song that um, was requested um, by a good friend of mine. Um, I know that her son, Robert Brady, is watching right now. This is for Winnie Brady. I hope you're well and I hope you're staying safe. This song is for you. It's a song that we've actually heard quite a lot this week in relation to um, Colonel Tom Moore's 100th birthday. Um, and it's VE Day next week as well. Um, so I think it's been played a lot for that as well because of its connotations with the war and things like that as well. Um, oh, thank you, Papa, and thank you, Gran. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so this song, um, Oh, I almost gave away which musical it was from. Um, this song is called You'll Never Walk Alone. And the first question is, which musical is the song from? Question number two, who wrote the musical? Question number three, what is the name of the character who sings the song? Now that is quite a hard one. I had to look that one up. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Um, so this is You'll Never Walk Alone. <clears throat> when you walk through a storm, hold your head up high, and don't be afraid of the dark.
about it. I did only just learn that song yesterday, so I hope um, I did the song justice. Um, I also, I want to take this opportunity to, um, as I do um, every time I do one of these, I want to thank our frontline workers, our key workers, and thank you so much to the NHS. I have lots of um, friends and family who work for the NHS. Um, my Auntie Eileen is actually watching right now. She's a carer and an amazing woman. My Auntie Kathleen, she... Uh, Kathleen, sorry. I do have an Auntie Kathleen, I know she's watching. Um, but um, my Auntie Maureen, um, she is actually working in the hospital tonight, so she can't join us. But um, I'll have the video available so that you can watch it later on. Um, so I just want to thank you and I want to thank my cousin Francesca as well who's done such an amazing job and it was lovely to see you getting the chance to spend some time with Bailey last week as well. So yeah, so thank you so much to every one of our key workers and thank you to the NHS. <clears throat> so, this actually brings me to my final song, it's the final part of the quiz. Um, so I'll give you the answers. Yeah, I should give you the answers first for, <laughs> for Never Walk Alone. Scrap what I just said. So, um, the first answer, the first question, um, which musical was Never um, Walk Alone from? And that was Carousel. Question number two, who wrote the musical? That was, again, Rogers and Hammerstein. Uh, question number three, now this was the hard one. <laughs> what is the name of the character who sings the song? And the name of the character was Nettie Fowler. So let me know how you got on with those questions. And if you got um, Nettie Fowler, I think you need to give yourself two points for that one because that was a tricky one. Um, oh, thank you, Amanda. Oh, thank you, Andy. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, everyone. Your comments are so lovely, honestly. It is so lovely to be here. I'm glad that song went down well as well. And Winnie, that was of course for you, so I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> um, yeah, so as I was saying, I'm actually onto the final part of my session um, and the quiz as well. <clears throat> so the last time I performed this song was at the last ever event that I got to perform at live before we all went into lockdown. Um, which seems so long ago now, it was almost two months ago, like it's scary, like as much as, um, you know, it's been a really hard time and we've been away with our families, I feel like two months has just gone by like really, really fast. Um, but I do hope you're all keeping safe and well and keeping in touch with your family and friends as much as you possibly can. I actually have um, a little call tonight with my friends Mark and Danielle who we normally spend Friday night with, so um, that'll be nice. Um, a nice way to celebrate after doing this too. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. So yeah, I performed this song um, at the last event that I got to do for actual real life physical people. <laughs> um, and it's one of my all time favorite songs. Um, it was a favorite of my um, Granta's as well. Um, so this is for you Granta. <laughs> um, so the first question, which film soundtrack did this song feature in? So that was which film soundtrack did this song feature in? Question number two, which member of Queen wrote this song? And as I said, I recently sang this at um, an event, um, the Red Hot Ball, but I sang one other Queen song. So this will show me if anyone's been paying attention on my Facebook page, especially today, because I just so happened to post the video earlier on. <laughs> um, so what was the other Queen song that I sang and who was my duet partner? <laughs> so without further ado, this is Who Wants To Live Forever.
it works if it doesn't it doesn't I won't be offended but um, I hope you've enjoyed it anyway um, I think we need to give a little round of applause to John for doing such an amazing job <laughs> thank you John um, so the answers to the final um, set of questions there the first answer um, which film soundtrack did this song feature in that song and um, that film sorry was The Highlander question number two Brian May wrote the song and question number three, the tricky one to see if you were all paying attention, um, the song that I sang at the Red Hot Ball that wasn't the one I just sang was Barcelona and I sang it with Tom Yuri. So yeah, as I say, thank you so much for joining me tonight and I really hope you all stay safe. Um, and now it wouldn't be right if I didn't finish with a little encore um, number for you all. <laughs> so get your drinks ready. I'll get mine ready here, there we go, some Prosecco, oh, some spillage, good job I'm in my kitchen, <laughs> the laminate flooring, <laughs> um, so cheers, thank you so much for joining me, hmm. thank you, <laughs> um, so this next song was actually requested by Margaret Cosgrove um, a couple of weeks ago, it's also a song that um, people have asked me for years and years to do, um, and for some reason, I don't know why, I've just never done it, so I set myself the challenge of learning it this week. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm sure you recognise it. It's called O Mio Babino Caro.
watching. Cheers. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much. And please take care and stay safe. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>